Lord knows I love anime to death. I basically started the whole thing, but that's another story uh, for a very hidden story for people that know me personally. I basically got the whole thing started back in the mid-90s with Dragon Ball Z and Sailor Moon, and I put it in the masses, their masses' minds, and how cool it was. I put it in edited formats, and uh, I put it on something. I can't tell you what it is because I don't want people to find out my true history. But I knew about how cool anime was way before Pokemon was. Not like way before, but like way before Pokemon got big. And I put it out there. I'll put it that way. I put it this way. A lot of people knew who I was because I love anime so much. Uh, I'm not even sure how I knew the term anime, honestly. I just knew cool shit when I saw it and I knew the style was different. So when it comes to anime and loving anime, there's no one who loves it more than me. I saw the whole fucking thing. Especially here on the East Coast. Tape trading, that kind of stuff. There, Chinatown, that kind of stuff. I, I was in that kind of stuff. So, well, there's anybody who loves anime more than any than me. It's, it's that's bullshit. You could have, you can collect more anime figures, but no one will be more anime will, will be important to no one other than myself. I went to Japan. I met creators. I met a lot of people that were involved in the industry. So I know anime like the back of my fucking hand, hundred percent. So, with that being said, here. I get what Netflix is trying to do here. Business-wise, I'm also a businessman as well. I was also part of the business industry for about 10 years uh, before I doing what I do and now working for the political offices. So when it comes to marketing, especially budgets, uh, I know a little bit about why companies do what they do. So when it comes to One Piece, uh, okay, so like there's two things I think about One Piece. There's only two things. <laughs> Why Netflix is doing what they do, why they're why they want to adapt One Piece, and why the creators of One Piece want it to be adapted. That's, there's only two things. Those are the only two things that really matter in this this instance. The reason why Netflix wants One Piece is the same reason that Fox wanted One Piece back in the early two thousands. It's because One Piece was going to be around for a very long fucking time. And at that time, I believe back in the early 2000s, Fox uh, knew that One Piece had about maybe 200 episodes at that time, and it wasn't going to go away anytime soon. There were so many different things they were doing at that time, there was no way it was going to go away anytime soon. So with that being said, um, when it comes to how, like, why they do that, because they want stuff that can last a long time. Um, I'm not honestly sure when One Piece anime manga will actually end, because they've been saying the demise of One Piece forever. Two, three years, five years, I, I hear the whole thing. So, like, I don't know when One Piece is actually going to end. When the, I don't know. I can't, I can't give an estimation. The whole Wano arc right now, it's the longest it's, it's ever done. My least favorite arc of the whole thing, ironically, and, uh... <laughs> If they move on to a new one. Let, let's see how cool the next one is. But um, when it comes to how they do their their show, their anime, their manga, they're on. They're firing all cylinders still. They they still pumping out a lot. They pumping out a lot. So when it comes to a live live a live action anime uh, live action anime for Netflix to choose, One Piece is a great one to choose. I was, of course, I saw Death Note and I saw Cowboy Bebop. Barely Cowboy Bebop. Horrible, horrible representation of it. Um, so when I saw One Piece for the way it was, the way it was adapted, uh, I thought it was a fine thing they did with the live action show. The main issue I have as a One Piece fan, I'm a huge One Piece fan, is that the backgrounds are too damn dark. And once again, this is my experience here, I know why it's dark, and I fucking hate it. The same reason Transformers, the, the, the movies, the backgrounds are usually dark for, for the big action sequences, I hate that. The reason is because they're hiding CG elements, they don't want everything to be perfectly lit for people to pick apart. So I know why, they, oh no, I know why it's dark, I just fucking hate it. Which is why I prefer either CG or live action because they can do anything without compromising what they actually want to do. In live action, there are limits because One Piece was not meant to be live action. It's 
completely obvious from episode one. There's no woman who's that big with Alveda. Nobody. Not even Lizzo, whatever the fuck. You know, nobody's that big. You can you can simulate pirates, you can simulate like a barrel in the ocean, you can do that stuff there. But when it comes to the 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 monsters, the creatures, the the villains, if you will, there's no way you can have them be one to one represented in live action. Zero percent chance. Zero percent chance. You got to make huge compromises. Either they got to be the same height as everybody else there, the same width as everybody else there, because real people or real things don't look like that. When they get to Aokiji, let's see how short he actually is, bro. You know what I'm saying? No way. Aokiji in real life should be played by, I don't know, uh, the great Kali. That's that's how big the motherfucker is, right? You mean great Kelly shorter than fucking Aokiji, you know what I'm saying? Play one Shaq. Good luck. And, and, and Akainu? Woo! <laughs> He may look human, but his <laughs> his powers and abilities. Ooh, I mean, you can try. I mean, like, <laughs> but uh, no. The the one I'm looking forward to most. The, 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 if you, <laughs> I'm laughing right now, but uh, oh, you have no idea, bro. Because I know the whole history of One Piece. White beard, oh, boy. Oh my God, good. Good luck making fans happy with Whitebeard. Good luck. That guy is the size of a goddamn mountain, bro. He is literally the size of Moria. I would say the same thing, bro. Because when it comes to the size of the characters, here's Luffy right here. And Kudo, I think they got the character height thing right there when it came to the adaptation. Here's Aokiji, motherfucker, I was talking about. You know what I'm saying? Luffy's got to be about 5'10", because that's how they usually are, 5'10". And Aokiji is about a good 7 feet right there. Rob Lucci turned into a fucking tiger. Good luck making that look good, all right? And uh, that's... that's <clears throat> and look at this guy dwarf the fucking giant, right? You know what I'm saying? <laughs> This is one of the major ones, that's, but that's a way long down the road for this motherfucker. There, here's uh, here's a Kainu right here compared to Luffy right here, but his powers are magma related, so he has magma coming out of his legs and, and his hands. So uh, yeah, one of the bigger important ones is Doflamingo, super tall guy. I don't know how you make that look in live action, but that's way way down the line. They got to think about that one. Another close one coming up is is Blackbeard. Um. They could probably do Blackbeard next. Uh, probably a good idea to do so. But uh, here's here's Arlong right next to him. And Arlong is like the same height as Luffy in the show. But in the anime, uh, Blackbeard is a lot larger in every way than Arlong is. He's a very important character overall, Blackbeard is. So you need to get him right. Um, the, yeah, so uh, I don't know how you're going to make him look... Decent and live action. Well, I look at another another super tall guy, crocodile, right here next to Luffy. Um, but uh, important characters. I see how like they have Luffy and Shanks roughly the same height, just like in the the the, the live action adaptation. Adaptation. It's it's okay to have it like this one, but look at fucking Whitebeard. He is fucking. He's the size of a building, bro. Real talk. He can, he can, like, go on your chimney in your house without fucking making a sweat. It's ridiculous. He's ridiculous. So, like, yeah, a lot of these characters, uh, he's super important, obviously. Uh, and, and, and Kaido fucking dwarfs him, I'm saying. Big Mom, way, way down the line, but still. In live, are you going to do her in live action? No, you're not. No, you're not. No, you're not, bro. I believe, in the end, that... One Piece, the live action anime, a live action adaptation, will end before it gets to any of the fucking super crazy shit there with like uh, Big Mom and Kaido. Or here's the other, another. Well, that's Jack actually. Here's Kaido over here. Um, a Frankie robot thing. Oh my god, Frankie and live action. Oh my god, they can probably pull off a little bit of the human form, but the Popeye arms. 
I don't know about that, but transforming into mega giant transformer robo thing, it's possible if you go the Power Ranger routes where you make like a giant robot and everything that's around them looks small. I want to see how you try. Yeah. And where's Chopper at? I didn't see his ass down here. Holy shit. He's got to be like the size of like Luke's ankle or some shit there. Uh, God damn, I don't see. Where the fuck is Chopper? Monster Chopper anywhere? I don't see him anywhere. Ironically, I don't I don't really see Usopp either. Uh, I see Nami, obviously. Is that Sanji? Holy shit, I don't see Sanji here either. That's kind of weird. Anyway, it's not the video. Oh, shit, there's Rayleigh. Okay, cool. Um, so, like, yeah, I don't really see this adaptation lasting that long. So, here's the other part of what I was talking about. The reason why Oda and the One Piece creators want to do a live-action version is because they want to recreate the magic of One Piece. Because I've, I know they believe the end is near for One Piece, and the One Piece popularity may be dwindling down so they want to create more hype for their show because the end is near for the anime and they want to make it so people get caught up and sprinkle an interest in their mind of their anime to get them to watch the anime read the manga so they can actually get into it before it actually ends and so more people would fall in love with one piece and therefore get more hype get more money for them so this is a good a good segue if you're not watching the the anime and you refuse to watch anime for some reason, the live action version is a good place to start, I guess. However, what most people of anime, uh, the one pe what most people who watch anime uh, don't realize about One Piece is that it, it already has something like this already. Remember something called Dragon Ball Z Kai? A uh, Kai is another version of saying repackaged, uh, no filler version of it. It's the important parts of the manga in anime form. Well, One Piece has that. They've had that for the past eight years now for all the important members of their arc. So there's about 90 minutes to catch up on Luffy, introduction of Luffy all the way to Nami's to Arlong Long there. That's right, 90 minutes from Luffy to the end of Arlong Long and that's it. They got one for Chopper. They got one for they got one for Sanji as well. They got all the important characters in their own little section there for about ninety minutes each. There instead of like watching like sixty episodes something like that, there you have a very condensed, very, very well done version of that one. But most people don't know about that. By the way, it's also remastered, if you will. They redid the animation, and you can watch it there. There's also a, for the original Dragon Ball one. They made a movie. Uh, summarizing the beginning uh, arc of Goku all the way to the World Tournament, the first one, and that one's redone in about uh, about two hours in the the, the live action movie. Uh, sorry, not the, sorry, the the, re the recreated movie. It's ridiculously good. It's ridiculously good. Uh, uh, new stuff there, cut out content that they don't mean to happen there. It's really good. So, uh, so One Piece has a Kai, Dragon Ball, the original one has a Kai, Dragon Ball Z has a Kai. So, yeah, most people don't know about the One Piece Kai because they just give, they see how many, how many episodes it has on Wikipedia, they call it a day. So, yeah, uh, doing certain characters in live action will be very, very difficult. It's best for you to get out of your, your, how you say, uh, your, your privileged bubble of not watching anime and watch the anime because if you love the way the live action version was there's no way they're going to do all the characters correctly or do you want to wait five years for them to do like a season two or three and then even like 15 or 20 years for them to get up to big mom do you want to wait that long or you can watch it right now you're gonna be stubborn forever yeah exactly that's it for now clack off